For the past 25 years, I've worked in an institution with developing delayed adults. Then I decided to bring it home by fostering autistic kids. I would like to bring the experience that I have gained from these two things together to help you achieve a normal life. Hi guys, Tanya here. I actually am having an issue with the school that's causing my son to have a new behavior that I haven't seen before. Let's look in at Curtis Cam and let's find out what this behavior is. You now you see with this behavior that he's got, it's not actually a bad behavior, but what they're doing is they're teaching our kids to use these devices to get them work. Like um, Curtis has a big button that he gets to hit, and whenever he hits that button, a video will come on. Well then, when he comes home, all of a sudden, now I got Curtis banging on everything trying to turn it on. So it's not the school's fault actually, but it is when they don't give us the devices to bring it home. Let's look and see how Jeff actually fixes this situation for us. Okay, we're here today and we're going to hook up a radio. Just your typical run-of-the-mill radio and hook it up to a light switch so that uh, Curtis here can uh, operate a radio by himself. Um, this is uh, some conduit you can buy. It's an exterior conduit that will go onto the wall. And let's get started. on this is and we already had one so I already have holes in the walls. <laughs> so this has little tabs for your conduit to fit onto so we're going to cut this one at 33 inches just make sure you can edit this part out right see okay perfect <laughs> and this is a metal conduit so you're going to need a hacksaw plugs into the back of the radio. Wire, you can, uh, typical wire stripper cutters and sharp knife to cut back your uh, insulation on the wire. Which has already been done, so I apologize for skipping that. Okay, we're gonna, just going to attach our conduit to the wall. I don't think I need my wire in here yet. And I have these little straps sold separately, which will secure it to the wall. shelf here that the radio will sit on. But you can any type of shelf that you have or can find. Okay, so we've got the wire in here, and now we've cut this to length. This radio is just going to sit there. We had to modify the shelf just a little bit to make it 
bigger. This, that was just the wire shelf that we had. And you've got a wire gauge on the back of here that tells you how big. I believe this is number 14. Just strip the ends off these wires. Just like that. is your power. So that's what we usually hook to the switch itself. And there you go. Got your wire connected. Now we just need to hook our other wires back together. And we use this little, uh, what do you call that? Wire nut. Got our wire nut on here to secure those wires. Stick them back up in the receptacle. More screws. Get a nice little cover plate on top of it. We have a radio hooked to a light switch. Isn't that great how Jeff made that switch available for us so then now whenever Curtis needs to turn on his radio, it's just a little light switch. Um, and so this can actually help a lot of parents um, adapt 
their own bedroom, their own kids' bedroom, so they could actually have that so-called normal life without their kid banging on everything. So thanks for tuning in today. We'll see you next time.